What's going on? Back with another Mac mukbang. Got my uh, boost juice, mega magic. Got my cappuccino one. Just sugar. had my ham and cheese uh, toasty as well. Finished that just, off. Just had a blueberry Got muffin. A special guest today. Nick Nicholas Cadman. Say hi. Good to see you. Good to be here. Um, um, big thanks. soccer is famous bloke. Yeah. Can tell. Into Always the up. Yeah. Going to Washington tonight actually. Yeah. It's been some interesting games so far. Like last night we had England America a draw. Zero yeah. old shit game. Guys, we actually have a question for the viewers out there. Is it called football or soccer? That's just, a shit question. Just, just leave your opinion down in comments below. Yeah. Uh, World Cup. It's been pretty ordinary so far. Mm. I'm backing in Australia, of course, and then Brazil. Australia don't get up. I'm backing Neymar's ankle to pop back into place. Yeah. Come back next time. Uh, now, we're going to talk about some controversy here. Shanks and Subway order. Make more sub with the beetroot olives. Pepper mayo. and mayo. Tomato. I'll just let you think about that. Yeah. It's not much we'll you can say to that, guys. We'll let you think about that. Just give him a sec, Just give him a sec. Tub 340 has actually been putting... Got some questions from our previous viewers. Uh... They want to know who sucks the most dick. All right, Luke Evans wants to know who sucks the most dick. Who does suck? Probably the most Levens dick? himself. Honestly. Yeah, answered his own question there. Silly one by him. Uh, cool. Smitty wants to know who's got a black cock. Once mm. again, answers his own question there, and Smith, because uh, he's got a black cock. So, um, we also start up the Ridsey clan. Yep. That's uh, thriving. Call of Duty, we were thriving. We we're in the, the top good 1 content of content up. Dub340 was putting in the work, went 77 and 15. Had a little bit of a hiccup with the Instagram account. Yep. We'll be back. Uh, we actually got permanently banned. Yep, we won't say what for, because. We may have sent child porn. Well, we did. We did send, we child, send child porn to someone in the DMs. To? To, um, uh, to someone. An up and coming guest, I think. Yeah. Who yeah, is due to be a guest. Yeah. We'll talk about that in a later episode. Um, we've got a review past week. Yeah, we'll do a week review. So, um, Monday, not much, just been playing a bit of COD. Monday, I think we hit the run session. Yeah, hit the PT. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, not much going on, just doing day to day stuff. Yeah, just smashing out the minutes, guys. Yeah, just to get to the weekend so we can make another MacBank views. Last night, what did you boys do last night? Oh, uh, yeah, last night we went to a mini golf in the city. There was also a bar, a bit of fifth fruity cunts in there, but it was pretty good. Yeah. Who won? Uh, Aaron ended up winning the mini golf. I'll claim second place. I come last. Third. I come last only because can't win them all though. Eight dollar fireball shots. Yeah, you got to take the wins and the losses. I yeah. was up and about, and then fireball shot got to me, so choked. We've actually got two new vapes no. here. Yeah, the double barrels with the banana and the cherry pomegranate. Leave, leave now. Your opinion yeah. on what's better down below. We'll review. Both pretty good. The banana one's the same color as the soccer is, so it's pretty good. But what do you, what do you yeah, think about? What kind of... It's got more got the cherry pomegranate in it. Cherry pomegranate and the banana ice, so... Yes, pretty sure. Boom. Yeah, let the guests try that shit. Tell us what you mm. think, boys. Tell Taste us what like. you think's better. Keep it in your own head. Oh. We'll say it on a three, two, one. Give the pedal pop vibes. Look, it's tough to say, I reckon. It's tough to say because we've had both of them a lot, but if I was to get one of these and I've never had them before, I think I'd be happier with banana. They're both very consistent and will not let they you down. They both do the job, though. They won't let you down, these bad boys. Let's put these back in here. Also, I've been getting munchies in the car, guys. He's been exposed. Life. He's been eating nobbies. Nobbies. They're and not bad. Bacon flavoured whites. Yeah, that's an ecky. What, what are you doing? What? What are that's you? Panadol. Mm. 
Just a little bit of a bacon, you smell it. Okay. Okay, we've just been exposed some Fuck fucking cunt huh? with a fucking Fuck weird ass hat. Um, what do you review them to the audience? Uh, look. What flavour? Uh, bacon. Cheesy oh, really? bacon. Oh, shit. Look, I was walking down McCall's aisle and it was on special for $2, so I thought, how could you go wrong? And I just munched yeah. them down. Look, it's like eating air. They're not very. Don't really. Don't fill you up. How stars do I think about them, man? How star is it? Zero point five. So they're grinding for the one star I've heard. They're bringing out a new, a yeah, new addition. Yeah, they're putting them. protein in it. Yeah, we're gonna have yeah. eighty grams of protein per the one. The unbeatable uh, quality and taste of your snacks. Have review been, this. Look, has been loved for se over seventy years. That's seventy years. That's more than sixty-nine years. These succulent, cheesy bacon f flavored bites make the perfect full flavored snack for any, any occasion. Any. Now, any occasion. You could take these to like a Christmas dinner, a funeral, pizza lunch. Like, if you're at the funeral, just open them up. Yeah, like feed them to the bloke in the casket. Now, the woman who got her subway order has left this in the car. She's left her yeah. scent in the fucking. Oh, okay. It can stay down there. Yeah. It is gone. Hopefully, it stays gone. Hopefully yeah. been able to see her again. I need mean, it again. New purchase from Ben as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, got the noise cancelling headphones. See, I can't hear you right now. Yeah, can't hear. He can't hear. Yeah. <laughs> Just completely cancel the noise. Look, out. this coffee. It's not the best. Not the best thing. Muffin break. They don't make the best cappuccinos. All right? Yeah. Uh, me, me, I don't drink coffee, but I'm not. I'm not a coffee lover. I can I can work without coffee. Like I don't need it in the morning. I'd rather up, I'm an up and go kind of guy. Yeah, vanilla, we love up vanilla. Up, up and, and go, goes. sponsor us. I'm an energy man. Type of vanilla guy. up and goes. Oh, you get the job done. They get they, it going. They do more than that. They taste. They fucking that tasty. Yeah, I've got a question. It's so good. Boost juice in your life. Over under. Here on, we go. Over under on 110 and a half. I'm definitely under, due to the fact that there's no boost juice in our hometown. Yeah, that's a good call. That's but good. me personally, the amount I've had as a little kid, I would say I'm over, but it'd be close. Look, yeah. I reckon I'm only in the 60 shout to 70 the range. Girl, shout out to the girl that invented it. Have you heard about it? Yeah, she's no, on Shark Tank. Yeah, she's no, on no, Shark Tank. Shout out to her, she's rich now. Yeah. Very much. Everyone on Shark Tank's rich. Good show. And um, if you're an up and coming, we've got a big night, entrepreneur. big night tonight, I think, a really big one. Go and watch the Socceroos. Down at Fed Square, get down there. Down and there. Then head down to the uh, Esplanade. Esplanade on Saint in St Kilda, on the Esplanade Road. Actually, no, it's not. The Esplanade Road's in Tom Yeah. No, no, it is on the Esplanade Road. Oh, is it? But, yeah, I think it's two Esplanade Road. Oh, roads. really? Yeah. Oh, learn something new every day, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> also got under over on shoes bought in your life 50. Oh um, damn funny. And it counts as your your parents have bought them from a little kid. Thongs do thongs count? Yeah. I reckon I'd be over. Bit of a controversial oh, call. Yeah, yeah. I would say I get maybe two pairs of shoes a year. Wait, what are you boys rocking you got at the moment? School shoes. What are you guys rocking at the moment? Uh, uh, I'm rocking these. Usually I Crocs. rock them just Without the speed mode on, just because I'm like, just rocking the I'm new sure. balances, just the beaters, you know. Yeah, just, yeah rocking the. Uh, I don't know, just the beaters get the yeah. job done for me, so rocking these today. Uh, we're down at Woodgrove, new environment for us. Yeah, uh, I love it down here. Last time we were at Pumping. the Macus car park, so we've kind of upgraded. Not yeah. much, but we'll get there one day. It's a tough call if we've upgraded. Yeah, hopefully, we have a camera in a room soon. Yeah, mics. we're working on it. We're working on investing in that. Uh, any donations would help. Yeah, don't go fund me. Any comments slash. on guests we should get on the show? Um, be yep. very much appreciated. Next guest, uh, we don't know yet, but we'll fill you we've in. We've got a few ideas. We've yeah. got we've got something cooking. We're just we're brainstorming. Now, top five draft. The NBA, Monday night. NBA players. Everyone gets their first pick and you can't pick the same player. Well, I'm just picking current, just my best team. No, no, you pick your five best players ever. But oh, right. I pick one and then you can't pick that player. Alright, well, I'm just so, going to go with obvious and take the goat, Michael Jordan. Alright, I'll go with LeBron James. That's my number one pick. I'll go um, 
I'm gonna go a bit off the grid here. Alan Iverson as my point guard. All right, he's gotta be a source. I'm gonna just lock I'm it down at the five position and take Big Shaq. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lock it down at the five and take Kareem as well. Because I like a bit of steez on my team. I'm gonna go um, small forward, come Alan Anthony. Okay. Right. He's got some swag, this bloke. Got some swag. I'm gonna get a floor general. He's up and coming, he's not proven yet. Josh Gritty. Where are you putting him at? <laughs> <laughs> now, we want to know. He's playing number like, one. Does he look like Josh Gritty? Oh, yeah, I've gotten a lot. I've gotten a lot. One time I was at a Fisher concert, and um, these boys came out to me. Oh, one of them was actually training at Carlton, and he goes to me, Oh, Josh Giddy, Josh Giddy, and I was like, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't reply to it because I didn't think I looked like Josh Giddy. But these boys really thought I looked like Josh Giddy. Turns out he knows, like Kawano, it was good connection and everything. But anyway, let's get back to the basketball. I'll take, I'll take. No, it's no, it's your guy. No, I just got Josh. I'll take Stephen Curry at the point guard. Okay, okay. Sh Chef Curry, LeBron, and Kareem. I just need a shooting guard. I need a and a point and a power forward. Power forward. I like a bit of fight. I love a bit of fight. So I'm taking Metal World Peace. Alright. Well, I'm gonna. I also like a bit of. Where are you gonna play him? Powerful. Right, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna also take a four. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take Big Baby Glenn Davis. He brings a lot to the team. Yep. Fair enough. At the four, I think I'm gonna take Big Z. I was, shoot gonna, at I was gonna take Big Z at the set, at the centre. Oh. So you're, you're seven three and he's a shooter. He's at the four. And he's at the four. four. With Kareem at the five. You're not entering that paint. Yeah. yeah. Right. So what maybe you got? Now what do you got? I need a I need a shooting guard and a centre. I just need the shooting guard. Shooting guard centre. Why don't you move AI to the shooting guard and take point guard? Yeah, it opens up your options. Yeah. You shouldn't help him out, mate. Yeah. He's your opponent. No. no, no. You know what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe... I'm thinking maybe... I might take... This is a hard one. Oh! Oh! I'm going to move AI to the shooting... Oh, to the um, shooting guard. And I'm going to take prime Derek Rose. Yeah, alright. Well... I'll go get a small forward, but I'm going to move MJ to a small forward, and I'm getting a dead-eye shooter. Look, his stint in the NBA wasn't very long, but his name is Gazy. And I'm going to take Gazy because he's just, he's a dead-eye. He doesn't Ooh, miss. Fair enough. And um, well, that's my, my last pick. I think I'll take an up-and-coming player. Goes well, along with Ja Morant this year. Been putting up the good numbers. Uh, that's Desmond Bain. All right. Like that. He's, he's been doing good. Yeah, so I've got yeah, Josh Gritty, Michael Jordan, Gazy, Glenn Davis, and Big Shaq. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking squad to me. I might take. I got um, Curry, uh, Desmond Bain, LeBron, Big, uh, Big Z, and Kareem. All right. Who's your last I, pick? With my last pick in the 2022 Woodgrove draft, I'm going to take. A bit more fight because I love a bit of fight. I'm going to take Benny Wallace. Oh, you got a bit of fight in it, that team. So it's not about picking the best players. It's about it's picking it's the about ones with Sam, the and the ones what best the for your team. Yeah, exactly. And seeing what would work together. You can't have five all stars. They're exactly. going to want the ball. So Desmond Bain's going to play his role. Big Z's going to play his role. Just shooting threes. Kareem's going to be good in the paint when you need him. Oh, and we, Curry will work like we got to pick a six bread man. and butter. Got to get a six man. And then, all right, uh, six man. I'll take. One of the OG six mans, I think it was 2019. He was awesome for the Clippers. That's Lou Williams. He was, he was a good six man yeah. back in his day. Great. All right. I'm going to take a guy. He's been on a lot of teams. He's a veteran. Urson Ilyasova. Oh, so He's going to get the take, job done. Um, uh, I'll take Cephalosha. <laughs> I'll take Cephalosha. All right, and I've also got... A seven coach. Man. Now you got to choose. All right, coach. I'm gonna go strictly just for his last name, Mike Budenholzer. <laughs> I'm gonna get a coach that barely did anything, but he worked with LeBron, and that's Tyron Wu. Knew how to coach LeBron yeah. and Big Z. So. Yeah, they've missed out on the big fucking money here, Greg Popovich. Yeah, I was gonna take him. Look, I reckon you've made a mistake ever. here because he's got Alan Iverson. 
And when he's person, when Tyrone Lou sees Alan Iverson, he's going to have flashbacks. He's going to get gonna shook. Yeah, he's going to be able to coach. That's a good call. That's a good call. Yeah, that's fucking sick. Tyrone Lou never did anything car. anyway, so yeah. we'll probably not. Oh, GM? No. Yep. Gotta pick your GM. Yeah, alright. I'll pick my GM that I made on 2K18. Alright, so you're picking yourself. Yeah. Yeah, uh, also, I'm going to take myself. I built this team, so. I'm going to take some credit. Le GM. Even yeah. though he's playing on his team. Yeah, but it's still manage his job. team. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Now, you got to pick the. you got to pick your wife if you're the GM of that team. Alright. Okay, one in the world. Um, oh, this takes a bit of thinking. I'm going to take. Prime Madonna. I'm gonna take Prime Jessica Alba. Oh, it's good and into the blue with Paul Walker. Mm. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna go with a bit different route here. I'm gonna go Prime. Why Prime Charlie Sagitas. Because <laughs> she can host an end of year party. And everyone will have a she good post when, time. When it, if, if, which on the very low chance it is, if he wins the um, championship, then he can have a fucking sick party after. Yeah, and Joel Macker on the decks. So it's yeah. a bit of a duo package, that one. Yeah, yeah. good. Good call. All right, well. It's a two for one, isn't it? Mm. I think that'll cap off today's episode. Put, Put in, in the, the good numbers. That, got, who do you reckon is going to win the championship? And give us yeah. some comments for uh, our next video, which will be... Soon. Not one, I'd say. I'd say It'll we'll get one. Or I'll, we'll hope we'll push to get one tomorrow. Yeah, I, would say. I reckon we're on for tomorrow. Oh. We might have some new guests as well. Yeah, I'll have a lot about. To, I'll have a lot to talk about next episode. Yeah, actually. yeah. we'll, we'll right. review last night. Episode and... two of the mukbang in the books. Leave a like, subscribe. Book it in tomorrow about twelve to two. It'll twelve be, to yeah. two. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks, Abby.